for those who didn't hear. What I did is I actually started up in Alaska. I got as close to Harp as I could and I traveled down to here and looked at Seattle and Portland and across the top of the United States line. This is where we've been looking, just above here now. But I traveled across the top here to the Great Lakes uh, in order to look for data that's should have done that, sorry. Looking for data when there was no weather, which became increasingly difficult because I was always in the storms. Funny wispy things. Look at all those little streaks coming through and, and if you see these things pop up, you must have missed what I call those cosmic bullets. And I just saw some coming this way, so point counterpoint. There's my Jacob's ladder. It's a really a big scale. Oh, lots of cosmic bullets there. And that has nothing to do with that. And they're going the opposite way. Wow. Cool. I just saw another reasonably respectable astronomer negating the validity of what Dutch does. And I lost respect for him because he missed the point. Dutch doesn't tell us what he thinks it is in a significant manner. He shows us what he sees and and he had a better eye than me. He had to help me find these things and he encouraged me to look this much at least. But what you can't ignore in what Dutch does is predictions that come true. And if you go and look at some of my earliest videos, you'll see that it happened to me, too. In Greensville, South Carolina, a storm came around and left a great big hole, a perfectly round hole, over Greensville, South Carolina. And somebody I know said, I live there. And you could see the stars all night. And the thunderstorms were all around us. And I said, wow. I thought it was an artifact in the radar. Interesting how this comes along here. And it happens in the Great Lakes too. Which means that the cold water of the ocean as it comes around um, Vancouver Island. Um, the, the, the coldness of the water, Lake Michigan, Lake Superior, and, and the oceans um, seem to affect things. And my hunch is that that might happen with um, ionized air. So I'll be back in a flash and we'll go east. <laughs> 